Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what are the different steps followed in designing and implementing machine learning model. This is the overall picture of uh, machine learning process here. The first step in building any machine learning model is data collection. Next, uh, data preparation. Third step is to train and uh, test distribution that is dividing the data into training and testing part. Choosing a model. Training that particular model using training data, evaluating the model and hyperparameter tuning. We will try to discuss each of these steps one by one. The first step in machine learning model building is data collection. The data collection is one of the very important step of any machine learning project because without data you cannot train your model and the collected data should be as high as possible and it should be a quality data if that particular data has a lot of errors and all you may not be able to get the better machine learning model in this case the outcome of this particular step is generally representation of the data which will be used for training the model as well as uh, testing that particular model we have a lot of pre-collected data available uh, the one is the Kaggle website and another one is the UCI. There will a lot of such uh, websites are available where you can collect or you can use the pre-collected data for building your machine learning model. For example, you are trying to learn how to build the machine learning model. There will a lot of uh, data is available on this particular websites. You just visit this particular website, uh, choose a data set which is just suitable for your uh, uh, preparation or you can say that uh, model building and use that particular data. Or else if you are interested in building your own uh, data, you have to collect the data, you have to uh, label that particular data and everything you have to do by your own. Once you collect the data, the next step is to uh, do the data preparation or it's also called as pre-processing the data. Uh, in this case, uh, we use uh, the different steps. The first step is to clean the data. Cleaning the data is like uh, if you have some uh, duplicate data in your uh, collected uh, data, first we need to remove that particular duplicate uh, duplicates. Uh, if you have some errors in the data, we have to remove that particular errors. And then uh, a, a particular attribute uh, is having some missing values. Those particular missing values should be handled properly. For example, let us say that a uh, attribute named x is having uh, one missing value. Either you can put that particular missing value with zero, or you can uh, fill that particular missing value with uh, the average of that particular column, or mean of that particular column, or standard deviation, so on. Some some approach you have to follow so that you can so that you can handle that particular missing value. The next one more uh, step is uh, something called as normalization. That is, if the data is not uh, distributed. Uh, normally then uh, that particular data may not give you proper result that is either the next step is uh, uh, to randomize the collected data because while collecting data we must have followed an approach uh, that particular data will be collected in one order so that may add some bias into your uh, model so we need to randomize that particular data in this case another very important uh, step in data preparation is uh, visualizing the data uh, so that you can understand the relationship between variables as well as class imbalances if two variables are uh, uh, related with one another or correlated you can say there is no point in selecting both the variables rather than selecting both the variables you can select one variable and then do the analysis uh, if they are not related then definitely you have to collect uh, select both the variables class imbalance is one of the important issue in uh, uh, any data uh, let us assume that you have some 100 data points out of 100 data points uh, around 90 data points are of one class remaining 10 are of another class so such kind of data uh, cannot be used to train the model here so definitely we have to handle such kind of issues here now uh, coming back to the next step uh, once the data is collected and pre-processed the next step is to train that particular uh, divide that particular data into training and testing part okay so uh, we can follow some different approaches here uh, you can divide your whole data into training set and then testing set and then uh, with the help of uh, training set you can train your model okay so once you train your model you will get the model over here and uh, with the help of testing set you can test that particular model that is called as model evaluation and all at the later stage so that's a one approach you can follow there is another approach uh, the original data is divided into training and testing set that's for sure the training set is again divided into two part training 
and then validation set. So what actually we do here is uh, first we build a model. That particular model is validated first before we use the testing data to test that particular model. So this is one extra step we follow here so that we can uh, uh, achieve a better results in this particular case. That's another approach we can follow. The third approach what we can follow here is something called as a k-fold cross validation. The reason behind this one is if you look at this particular diagram, uh, some set of uh, data is used for training and some set of uh, data is used for testing here. But uh, uh, this kind of uh, what you can say that the process may add some bias because this is used for testing. Why we need to use only this particular part of data for testing? That, that may be the question comes in front of us. So to avoid that particular thing, what we do here is whole data will be divided into some different groups over here. For example, you can see here in this case, uh, the whole data is divided into what is that called as five groups. And then uh, in five iterations, we use one group for train testing and remaining four groups are used for training here. So in this, in this particular thing, first four are used for training and the fifth one is used for uh, testing here. In this case, fourth one is used for testing. In this case, third one was used for testing. In this case, second one was used for testing. In this case, uh, first one was used for testing and remaining all are used for training in that case. Every uh, run or every iteration will give you uh, uh, different accuracies. You can take the average of that particular accuracy so that you will get the final accuracy of the model in this case. So in this case, we have not stick to only certain part of the data for testing and certain part of the data for training in this case. Everything was considered for training and everything was considered for testing in this case. So that's the reason it is called as k-fold cross-validation where k is the number of uh, iterations we perform. In this case, we have divided data into five, five groups and five iterations we performed. So it is five-fold cross-validation. If we put this particular k as a 10, so the data has to be divided into 10 groups and 10 runs will take place over there. Uh, we have to take an average of 10 accuracies in such situation. Now, uh, once you divide your data into training and testing part, the next one is to this one that is uh, choose a model and then uh, build a model over here. So first what we do here is uh, based on the kind of data, uh, we will try to choose a particular model. For example, if the data is labeled, we will try to use uh, the supervised machine learning algorithms. Within that, we need to see what is the, uh, the labeled data, whether it is discrete or continuous. If it is discrete, we have to use classification algorithm. If it is continuous or real valued attribute, we need to consider regression algorithm. If the data is unlabeled, then we need to use uh, uh, either clustering or association or dimensionality reduction algorithms in this case. So it depends on what kind of data you have. Based on that, you need to select one model in this case. Now, after choosing a particular model, we need to uh, do the training. That is again a part of model building only. So we need to train that particular model with the help of uh, training data in this case. So the main goal of this particular uh, training model is uh, to get the answers uh, for the questions or making the correct uh, predictions in the future. So that's the main uh, goal of this particular training the model. So here we use the training data to train the model over here. Now, once you train your model, uh, the next step is to evaluate that particular trained model that is model evaluation over here. To evaluate the model, we can use some different uh, metrics over here. Uh, that's also called as performance uh, measures, uh, maybe accuracy, F1 score, recall, precision and so on. Uh, with the help of that, uh, you can uh, uh, evaluate your model, how, how well the model is performing and so on. If the model is performing better uh, than expected or you can say that it's uh, uh, working as expected, you can stop over here. Otherwise, uh, we have to go to the next step that is what is called as hyperparameter tuning or parameter tuning also. Like uh, uh, you have to increase the number of clusters if it is a clustering kind of problem. Uh, if it is, uh, you can say that uh, uh, classification kind of problem, you may uh, select some set of features or you may add some more set of features or you may add few more data points and so on. So you have to do something or do uh, uh, do change the parameters of that particular model so that you will be able to get a better results in this particular case. So that is what is called as a parameter tuning at the end of this particular uh, day. So these are the seven steps what we need to follow to build any machine learning model. 
uh, i hope this particular concept is clear uh, if you like the video do like and uh, share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching